her step-by-step -step guide how to increase and boost FPS in your CAS application on your macOS system. Alright, let's jump into it. First of all, that you need close unnecessary applications that you have on your macOS. For that, you can push down common button and hold it, and then tap on tab. And here you can install your cursor on the application that you want to close, and then click on Q button. And again, there you go. So now I'm gonna instead my cursor at the top right side and click on this icon. And then in the spotlight search, I can type login. Open login item settings. And these items will open automatically when you log in into your system. So you can click here on applications that you want delete from this list. And once you do that, this application can start automatically. And also you can scroll down until you find a low in the background section. And here you can disable unnecessary application. For example, I could disable Adobe Creative Cloud here. So now I'm gonna close it and then I instead my cursor at the top right side and click on this control center settings. And then here I'm gonna off my Bluetooth. Yep. So now I'm gonna start launch part, here other programs and start activity monitor. And here you can find process that uh, using more percentage of your system. For example, our base studio take a 48 percentage of my CPU because I recording right now. And I can click on stop button here. So I can close it and then I gonna open my whiskey application and let me show you how to settings this program. If you don't know how to install CS2 on your macOS system with game porting tool application, you can watch this video that appear at the top right corner. So once you're here, you can click on bottle configuration and then scroll down and here you can enable DXVK and OK, return to main page and then go to open Steam application. So once we're here, we can click on library, click on Steam at the top left corner. Then once you're here, you can click on settings drop down menu. Wait a couple of seconds and scroll down until you find broadcast of it right here. Then remote play, turn off it's right here. Find in game here, turn off the sections. Then click on interface here and else disable all of this. Uh, so now I'm gonna click on library and then find Counter Strike 2. Do right click here and in the drop down menu I can click on properties. And once you here you can scroll down until you find launch options section. And here you can type in hyphen no with space hyphen no joy space hyphen high. And also you can click on installed files here and click on verify integrate of game files. And Steam automatically verify your files. Okay, close it. So now I'm gonna try start Counter Strike 2. Click on play button here. Wait launching. And as you can see, I have already closed unnecessary application here. And now you can install your course at the top left side, click on this gear, and now in the new section here, you can down here all of animated and avatars, and go to settings here, choose here, no, then you can find up here video section, and now you can settings, display mode that you want, and after that you can click on advanced video. And here you can choose the same settings. Let's click here. And here you can type in FPS. Show FPS. And click on one, enter. And as you can see on my Mac, I have 15 FPS. It sometimes drop down 13, 20 FPS on my Mac, but I have click on this Apple icon here and click on about this Mac. And as you can see, my Mac is way old. That's it. I hope it helps. You can watch this new video or this playlist about MacBook.